everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And boy oh boy, is it a good one, I think, anyway. I haven't read anything, but I did I did look at this banner, and oh my god, is that Aramintha a flippin' baller? I cannot wait. Um, also, just as a side note, it is 7 in the morning. I have not slept yet. I was like, okay, I'm waiting up until the patch notes. I can do this. And like, of course, patch notes got delayed. And here we are. Anyways, um, Jesus, look at these skins. That Rin is flipping adorable. The Araminta is just... Oh my god, the Araminta. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait. Cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. I'm so excited. We've got the Corinne there as well. Oh lordy, this is gonna be good. As always, we have the same sort of quest idea here. I'm just gonna scroll through this really quick. We've got, um... What are those investigation leads? Typical drop rate stuff um, from our image here. We can see Harado, Enot, Gunther, and Armin. What a team. What a team indeed. A support, support made Chloe. Oh, we've also got a fused nerve here, which is kind of cool. That's exciting. Jesus Christ, that Bologna. Holy hell, look at her hair. That is insane. That is so bonkers. It's so cool. Um, so as we can see here, it says Seaside Bologna is a 50% uh, increase. So I have to imagine she's another character. Again, um, I'm going into this blind. I have not read Reddit or anything like that. So see, 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 see. Seaside Bologna will be available to players via summons beginning on 8-1. Save your summons. I don't know what day that is. That is Thursday. Thursday summons on the 1st of next month. Holy, um, there's so many things going here. We've got a bunch of rewards, sky stones, giga phantasmas, um, some runes, some silver stuff, some rainbow scales. It's an artifact. I don't think we've seen that yet. Uh, catalyst chest, catalyst chest, some other cool things, bunch of leaves, covenant bookmarks, gold transmit stone for the end. Ah, and here's rainbow scale. Ooh, what beautiful art. Um, according to legend, a handful of mare people have rainbow colored scales which possess very powerful healing property abilities, capable even of bringing back the dead. So cool. Um, increase effectiveness and effect resistance of all allies by 10%. Not bad. I mean, um, I don't know what to think about this artifact, but I like it. Uh, that's a pretty good bonus, especially um, max limit broken. Uh, I'll definitely be farming one of those. Jeez, look at that art. Holy. That is beautiful. Oh my god, look at that Karin. Holy, I can't wait to see her um for everything, you know? Like I can't wait to see the skill animations. I can't wait to see everything, her facial animations, everything. Um, wait. You seen sky stones? Players. I'm so confused. Um, purchase and claim summer pass to Okay, I, I, I'm going to back up. Let's back up for a second here. Um, players may use the Summer Pass during the Song of the Sea. How did that even happen? Um, side story. After completing an achievement in Song of the Seas, players will receive one achievement point for the Summer Pass and are able to receive a reward. It is possible to receive all the basic rewards. Players also have the option of purchasing achievement points with Sky Stones. Um, interesting. This so weird, but you get a skin for 1800, so yeah, let's be real here. We're all buying that one. Um, door patrol, so it's a skin. This one's a skin, but Bologna's a character that's kind of weird. Um, so so interesting. I'm not really sure what to think about all of this. Oh, the animation's so cool! Oh, it's the same, it's the exact same. She's just in her other outfit. Right? That's the exact same? Yeah, that's the exact same. That's super cool. Uh, would love some, like, fish flying out or something, but I will I will take that for sure. Uh, yep. We can apply your skin here. We can preview the skills, too. That's really, really cool. Um, players may receive the Summer Pass rewards for seven days after. Wow. Um, so that's really cool. I love that so far. I'm really happy with how they did it. Uh, kind of surprising there is um, one actual character, like actual Bologna, and then a skin too. That's super weird. Either way, um, please give me that Araminta skin. We're also getting a drop rate up for Sigrid, which is unexpected. 
good. Um, she's not in any one of these things. I feel like they would put the drop rate up of somebody who's part of the summer event, I, I guess, but I, I don't fully understand. So, so a challenge for the haughty Taylor. Nice. And we're going to get the Shepherds of Chaos um, artifact. Again, using the same team there, the meme team. Um, and we're fighting Lilybeth, and we're getting a Shepherd of Chaos. And again, 3, 7, 20%. I don't even care what this does. Always farm it. Always, always, always get artifacts. So this is a Thief exclusive with amazing art. Um, as health decreases, evasion and defense increase by up to 40%. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to compare that to Moonlight Dreamblade for Violet and maybe some other people. Because that seems really good. Definitely, 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 definitely farm this artifact. Uh, so that's another gold transmit. So that's at least two we're getting this event. But again, we don't know how useful those will be in the future. Um, by the way, I have enough for an ML summon right now. And then we have whew, our specialty change, Chaos Inquisitor. So I've not actually seen any of these in action. I know somebody in Mangoville has one built. I think it's Aerosel. Um, so he's going to be really happy. Kind of surprised they decided to do these people. I guess it kind of goes together with Axe God. Um, but before it does, like, this is the thing. Like, I bet a lot of people don't even know what he does, which is kind of funny. Um, but before attacks the enemy in the name of Chaos, recovering health proportionate to damage dealt. Damage dealt increases proportionate to the caster's lost health. And after Awaken, it does the same thing at the start. And when the enemy is buffed, has a 50% chance to activate Heavy Strike. And damage dealt uh, increases proportionate to the caster's lost health. So that's kind of cool. Um, kind of interesting to see how this goes. Two mercenary medicines. Yeah, you're not getting that from me, buddy. Um, 500 enemies from the Sacred Kingdom, 25 enemies in the Rose Apostle meeting, Paul and Labyrinth, and win a trial battle. Super easy. Wow. What, what a sprite. That sprite looks atrocious. <laughs> it looks so bad. Um, it looks so, so bad. Um, anyways, he's also getting 25% effectiveness. That's kind of weird, right? Um, considering his skill 3, I, I don't know his full skill set, but his skill 3 doesn't have any debuffs or anything. So that's kind of weird to get 25% effectiveness from that. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, will be interesting to see how this goes, but I'm, I'm kind of interested. Oh, it increases Preach's chance of activating Heavy Strike. That's called Preach, right? Yeah, so that's 100% chance to activate Heavy Strike uh, after that's done. So maybe Heavy Strike has like a, a debuff on it, like is it decreased defense or something? I'm I'm not familiar with it, but I guess that's something we'll see. There's also an Abyss Guide. Wow, there is so much. And there's a part two to this too, by the way. You can see um, what heroes people use. I really like this as well. Um, cool. So that's part one. Uh, what else do we have? Drop rate up, cigarettes really cool one of my favorite characters but i don't have her i'm not going to be pulling for her, and i really recommend nobody pull for her um with stuff like swimsuit balona coming and update part two cheese uh manage equipment function the equipment function allows players to preview changes that would be made if equipping new equipment yes thank you thank you i hope it's like a really great dressing room Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited for this. This makes it so much easier. Not even, like, during free equipment removal, but just any time. It's so good. I'm so, so, so unbelievably happy for this. We needed this so badly. There's nothing worse than having to, like, pull out a calculator to try to figure out stats. Holy, I'm so excited. Oh, you can even search by substats, too. Nice! A reason season two closing. God, I want a brilliant, fr fr brilliant frame. Sorry, it's seven fourteen in the morning. I cannot speak well. Please forgive me. Um, when arena season three begins, unused glory crest will be automatically converted to CP. Um, when arena season three players will not be able to purchase a reason a season two, so they're leaving. Um, will only be able to purchase arena conquest points. Okay. Okay, so we can buy the Season 2 stuff, but it's only with Conquest points. Uh, the price for Season 2 will be adjusted. Players will not be able to purchase exclusive Arena Season 2 items again. Okay. Players will be able to 
Purchase exclusive season two passionate frame until the beginning. Okay. So the frame's gonna be gone for good. That's basically the only thing I think. Um, so make sure you get that. Try to get everything, honestly. It, it really shouldn't be too hard to get everything, especially the um non-equipment stuff, since I don't know if they're purchasable again. Whew. And Hero Recall says, uh, for those of you who don't know, says isn't getting changed, but he did get changed from Wind Rider, incidentally. So they're gonna give us this as well. I will be recalling my says just because I don't actively use them right now, so there's just no reason for me not to recall him. Um Okay. Wow. Uh everything's coming back. Other improvements. Wow, there's more. Fighting spirit, wonder silk to triggered. Okay, okay. No functional changes to Aureus. Okay. Ah, oh, Automaton Tower. Please nerf 100. I tried to do 100. It's just not fun, so I just stopped. I just, like, went away. It just wasn't worth it for me to even try. Um, the stats for monsters on floor 91 to 100 has been decreased. Super hype on that. I hope that makes things much easier. Um, I, I, hope, I hope I can actually do it now, honestly. Like, it just was not fun for me before, so I hadn't even touched it. Uh... Immediately locked from the Steel Workshop. I like that, too. I like that, too. Improvements have been made so that the Awakened skill information is... Okay, that's okay. So many cool things. Um, Fanatic Gaze Nikelia has been added to the Monster Journal. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything big, because they seem to be hiding stuff. Um, improvements have been made to the skill sound and volume of the... Sorry for all the Windows noises, by the way. Um, improvements have been made... To the skill, sound, and volume of the following heroes. Raz, Aether, Maya, Krozik, Corvus, Zorado, Charlotte, Bale, and Cezanne. Says, Cartuja, Roman, Shadow Rose, Silverblade, Aramintha, Blaze, Dingo, Judge, Kisei, Soul, Baiken, and Dizzy. Interesting. Okay. Um, so that's pretty insane, right? Like, this is... This is a pretty insane patch. Um, I, I don't know if there's anything else. Let me go back to the start. But that was a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, also, Fallen Cecilia, if you didn't check, uh, did get delayed. Or not Fallen Cecilia. Fallen Cecilia got extended and Apocalypse Ravi was delayed. So yeah, uh, that is a bonkers patch. Probably the best patch I think we've almost ever had. Um, they assessed a lot of problems that they could change right off the bat. And they fixed a lot of things, like they um, added the equipment thing, they changed Automaton Tower slightly, no idea how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. They added a mix of skins and new characters, so they're not going fully one way, um, they're going a little bit of both, which is cool. And yeah, this is quite possibly the happiest I've been for patch notes, especially since, like, what in the hell? There's some sort of Hermintha! Like, why isn't she on my team? Look at her. She's tripping. Oh, my God. She needs to be on my team. Um, I will pray for her. I, I I need her in my life, and she needs to join this stupid game. And that Lydica is flipping beautiful, too. And I am just so excited. Anyways, I'm going to stop gushing. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, as always. I'll probably be going live today. The stream, if you want to see it, I'm going to go to sleep right after this video, though. I can hardly keep my poor little eyes open, though. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.